I thought you said we had a new player joining. We might. We might. Um, welcome to Rethink Gaming's Wednesday Night RPGs featuring Icewind, Dale Ryman, the Frostmaiden, played through Discord and Fantasy Grounds. Thank you, as always, Sirenscape, for the amazing atmosphere and music. Make sure you check them out at www.sirenscape.com. You've just got to be using it at your gaming table. If you want to support this content, we're on Patreon. We're on DMs Guild. You know what to do. Let's get to playing. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry for the break. Uh, if you've been following along, we've been uh, having some scheduling conflicts. We've got three players, and we're pushing forward tonight. When the group last played, they successfully wrested a cauldron out of the grimy hands of a hag who was using it to cook people. And um, I believe Erod is lying nearly dead. On Unconscious, but stable. Of the cave. Yeah, that's my recollection as well. Uh, that's my character sheet's recollection. So the uh, party was able to get him back up and walking with some minimal healing, return to town, store the cauldron safely. Where did you guys want to store the cauldron? Who was looking uh, for it? Uh, East Haven. So you're in East Haven. Do you want to give it to the town? Or do you want to hide it somewhere and negotiate? What do you want to do? Well, that's what I, that's what I mean. There, there was a guy who, who brought it to our attention, right? Or no, we first heard about it at the inn, and then, but then the guy, when we broke into the uh, town hall or whatever it was, didn't he say something about it? Yes, the town speaker um, enlisted you to go to the cave and bring it back. Um, I can't remember if that guy seemed uh, trustworthy or not. I, um, did they go on back to the town without me? No, we oh, were healed right. and everybody's back in town. Um, I'm asking for a detail on what happened in between, but we are still doing a little bit of exposition because we've got some characters out, so they will have transitioned out but i need the answer to this question to set up the next part all right so uh, we we uh we waited till you uh woke up we grabbed the cauldron we got out of dodge went back to town so the question is what do we do with the cauldron yes that accurate Bob. that is that is a question on my mind yes do we still have uh the bag of holding um Whose possession was that in? Cindy's. I think. All right. Yeah, we can we can walk that over. I think Cindy exploded though. No. Spontaneous I... combustion. Just. Uh... I thought Nini had it because she had like a couple of possessions of mine and a bunch of the sh what is that called shard? Drago shard. Uh, Shardlin, yeah. I thought it was tragic when the uh, when the giant guy took his axe and just chopped right through Cindy, just cleaved her right in half, and then she died and exploded. No, no, no. She floor. she left. Oh, I just imagined all that. Yes, you and your imagination. I'm trying to think what of this character's inventory might be of note. Yeah, what was the origin of her bag of holding? Was it that's an ability or something she had? Yeah. Uh yes, from being a artificer. Yeah, but we're we're gonna let that slide. That's fine. All fine. Okay. Um, she doesn't actually have an item representing that in her inventory. That's. I mean. Imar might be right in that Nini had the bag of holding. Yeah, so I'm... Possibly evil dragon figurine. 
Yes, I just transitioned several of those items into Nini's inventory. So Nini has the bag of holding. We're good to go on that. Okay. I will make sure and put one in her inventory to cover. That seems that. like something she would have stolen if she could have. So I think she probably did. <laughs> I, otherwise, I would assume it was given to. Her, but sure. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, or that. All right, she's got a bag of holding, and I moved the bag of tricks over. So who's carrying it now? Nini. And Nini is, is with you. I'll run Nini. I thought there was a picture of East Haven speaker, but maybe. Yeah. Oh, I know where it was. It was in the it was in the town hall. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm not. Like I'm a little uh, suspicious of this uh, speaker guy who's hanging out in the town hall with the uh, demonic statues and whatnot. Can I roll a? Oh, what would it be? An insight check to see if we trusted the speaker or not? Yes. Oh, that's pretty good. 17. Uh, so he seemed troubled, but didn't ever actively attempt to deceive you that you noticed right um yeah here we go uh he looks like that oh yeah he looks trustworthy to me i think um i mean what about uh can we offer to sell it to him yes like what that was we... I did, actually, did he offer a reward? I don't recall. Or did he just want us to bring it to him gratis? No, he definitely offered a reward. Yeah, then I, I unless anyone objects, I say let's uh, let's take him up on that. See, uh, see what we can get for this thing. Unless anybody wants to drag a giant cauldron around. Can't say that I I do. No, no thank. You. Yeah, then let's say, I guess, Bob, let's, uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go knock on this guy's door. Where's your sense of cauldron-based adventure? <laughs> All right, it seems like we should carry this thing around forever. And we use it as a sled. All right, um, he is prepared upon your arrival to trade the cauldron excellent for five aquamarines for what now aquamarines yeah. um how much is an aquamarine worth yeah is that even valuable <laughs> i know it's an odd choice isn't it like what are we uh what are we talking here? What's uh what's... click it. Click it. Click what? In the chat. Oh in the chat. Uh yeah, they're pretty valuable. Five of these, you say. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I've seen this uh I've seen this cauldron in action. It's a pretty big cauldron. Yeah, you could seems... almost you could almost boil a small child in there. You could potentially, but it's uh, you know we're talking about unlimited use, food in uh, perpetuity for you and your family, and I guess your town, whoever you want to. Uh, yes, and in share fact, with. the bountiful food will allow them to stop sacrificing people and, and sacrifice you know, food instead. Well, that's uh, that's great, and so all things considered, I, I, I you know, I. Five of these aquamarines feels like a, like a bit of a bargain. Yeah, I think you could sell that food and make much more, a much higher return on your investment than we're giving. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, 
I mean, uh, it's a generous offer, but I, I, I feel like, uh, you know, maybe the next town over also in the same boat as you, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it's worth more to them. You should, uh, do you have any, uh, do you have any other gems? Do you have any, uh, have any, uh, rubies, emeralds, diamonds, anything really. If you, uh, Make a persuasion check. We'll see. Okay. Make that roll. A persuasion check, you say. Indeed. I think we're good at persuasion. This is a terrible roll. Yeah, it wasn't a t very convincing argument. So, um, the speaker points out that times are hard all around, and no one else is going to be ready to pay this much for this powerful of an item. Any well, of the ten towns. Well, unless you guys object, I uh, seems like a deal to me. Twenty five hundred. Uh, Gold worth of gems here is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I, I agree. It's it's good money. All right, Bob. We uh, we we accept his offer. All right. So the party sheet has one less cauldron of plenty and five more aquamarines. Excellent. No. I, I give an aquamarine to me. I'm gonna take one and play with it. Okay. Examine it and look at it. I'll take an aquamarine. Yeah. So I try to take his aquamarine as he's trying to grab for it. Mine. Uh no, that's my aquamarine. I wanna make like a sleight of hand to see if I get it away from him because he's slow. Okay, make a sleight of hand versus my perception. I don't know where it is. Under skills. Oh, no. Well, that was your rabbit oh, squirrel. Rabbit. Which is a smart way to go, because you can just blame the squirrel. <laughs> don't take what doesn't belong to you, squirrel. So you gave one to a meanie? Right? I did. Left. Okay. Me try. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> well, that was your rabbit squirrel. Which is yep, I get my aquamarine. I fall as I try to grab for it and stumble. Like, what the heck just happened? Um, All right, so one for uh, each of these uh, folks. One for me. One for uh, me. There's one left over. Mm-hmm. Let's put it in now. I Where'd say, go? whoa, where'd it go? I don't have, oh, there's my. Oh, Imer has too. Uh oh. Oops. Okay. I would say we keep it for when we need an aquamarine to like revive someone. I think uh, if we should come across this, uh, this puffly guy that, you know, did one day. Oh yeah, wasn't he the guy who was obsessed with a one-armed bandit? I've heard. Was it a bandit? I'm pretty he sure was, it was a bandit. He was a doer guard. I heard that it was a doer guard. It was a doer <laughs> Killed his fiance in an alley. Behind the opera house in Monarchy. Okay, uh, so the party was given free room and board at oh, the geez. White Lady. Heralded as heroes and invited to a feast from the cauldron, the first one after it was thoroughly cleaned. 
Oh, yes, that's a uh, good point. We would have uh, told the guy that it, yeah, he should definitely clean that thing. Yeah, I mean, whether you did or not, he he would have assumed that it's mm. it's been out in the wild. That's true. Fair. Well, all right, then. So, uh, celebrated as heroes? Indeed. And this... Laden down with gemstones and treasure? Speaker Whalen has called for a meeting of the town council, um, a meeting of the speakers to happen in Bryn Shander, so that he can get everyone's approval to shift their gift from sacrifice of people to food. And uh, okay. he's going to make sure Thanks. that that meeting occurs before the next uh, sacrifice. Yeah, before the next bill comes due, so to speak. Um, mm. <clears throat> he would appreciate if you're going that way for you to speak to the speaker in Bryn Shander and vouch for the events that have happened here. So that at least he's going to send couriers as well, but the more people that tell her and others what has happened, the, the less resistant they'll be to the news. So if you go that way, he would really like you to put in a good word. Yeah. Seems uh, reasonable. Well, he seems greatly relieved. I mean, we may stop in to uh, make sure that everything's on the up and up. That we're not sacrificing any more people. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty, so you are... Is he taking any steps to secure this thing? He's keeping this... it under lock in the town hall. I'm not really sure that's the best idea. I feel like they they could do something smarter with it. They're open to suggestions. What did you guys have in mind? Well, I just I thought if if uh, if word gets out, which I'm sure that it will. I mean, yeah, I could imagine. Lots of people under the circumstances wanting to procure a cauldron of their own. You the know? bottom of Lake Dinnishire seems like a pretty good place to hide it. Well, but they don't intend to hide it. They intend to regularly use it. So it needs to be within reach. Yeah. Well, that's fine. He's a, he's a big boy. He can... Uh, he can properly secure it. It's not like we're going to wait around and offer to guard it or anything, I guess. I'll come back and guard it once we return the sun to of its rightful place in the sky. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, the uh, Arcane Brotherhood probably don't want anything to do with it. According to the mm. speaker, he says that uh, after they burn that last one at the stake, they're uh, not going to come back. And Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's unlikely that there are any other enemies. East Haven's got a pretty decent militia. Mm. You know, they're not as bad as, say, Dugan's Hole. Well, uh, listen, one of, our, uh, one of our companions here, Cindy... I forget her character's name. Uh, Ania? Yeah, that's the one. She uh, she may be willing to stick around and, and kind of help just perpetually stand watch over this cauldron for you. Okay. They, they, okay. they would accept that, sure. While they're talking, I'm ignoring the conversation and getting out the Hellbent Highborn book that's in my inventory. And okay. Just, uh, Half-eaten block of goat cheese. I think I'm gonna eat that. Munch okay. On that, my snack and goat cheese. While they talk, 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 talk. All right. All right. 
what was the deal, Bob? Because I, I forget now. But wasn't there a guy um, with a caravan or something? Some suspicious guy in a caravan with uh, yeah, no they coat went, on? Yeah, uh, they went south at the Eastway intersection. Yeah, it was right before we came here. Right? We encountered them right before mm -hmm. arriving. Yeah, they're making the rounds. Mm -hmm. And what was his deal? What did we what did we know about this guy or anything? Somebody told us something. Uh, about him. It's alleged that he's murdering people because they're cheating the um, lottery for the sacrifice. Well, that's a lead potentially. Is that on the way to bring? No, he was headed towards good mead, I think. So. And the caravan is known to cycle through each of the towns. Mm. It's their only source but, of regular supplies. But we we encountered them. They were headed towards good mead, yes? They were, yeah. Okay. They're probably done with good mead by now and on down to Dugan's Hole, if not on their way back. I see. So if we went down that street... Would probably run into this caravan. I imagine. Yeah, that seems like a uh, potential. Seems like a potential uh, option. I think. I mean, if he's out there murdering people. Are there? Can I tell if there's any markings or anything in this book? Um, yes, there are several passages that have been highlighted and questions scribbled in the margins in Infernal. Infernals? Mm -hmm. what, what does that mean? Um, for example... Anybody read that? I cannot. Um, no. I don't have that language. Is that infernal, Bob? It was, yes. Okay. Our tiefling should be able to read it. Is there one of those around here somewhere? Warren. Where? Yeah, my uh, infernal is a little rusty, unfortunately. I can't. Uh, ah. It's been a long time since I've been home. Um, yeah. You know, Makes sense. More of a puncher than a reader. I haven't ever seen you punch anything. Mm -hmm. Well, you're probably looking the other way. Seen you throw some, like, uh, balls of magical energy at things. Yeah, yeah, I do that too. So, the caravan. The caravan heads towards Goodme, Dugan's Hole, might be on the way back, might be somewhere along the way, as this uh, alleged guy who maybe murders people. I'm trying to uh, decide if there's a compelling reason <laughs> to go on this guy, or if it's just, uh, you know, some kind of arbitrary hook. Um, it's a little bit of both. I mean, is killing people a good thing? I don't know. Maybe they deserve it. Kind of depends on your view, I you guess. Know, I, I kind of, uh, you know, the tiefling in me says maybe they had it coming. Who was it, Bob? I mean, I don't need the name, but I mean, do you remember where uh, where they told us about this guy? Was were, were they concerned about him? Uh, rumors are everywhere. Lots I of see. people have heard about him. Okay. He's not tied to any particular town. Got it. 
mostly because he rose between them. Also not tied to any particular town is the search for a uh, elemental spirit. You may recall you've been hired to find a Chewinga and given a magical oh. lantern that yes. attacked them. Yes, yes. I forgot about the uh, Chewinga situation. I think that's all that's open. So looking across the map, you dealt with the situation at Kirkone and Kirkdenival. You've dealt with two of the situations at East Haven. Uh, you've not been to Goodmead, Dugan's Hole, Bremen, Lonelywood, or Tourmaline, or Brinchander for long. Um, and yeah, you dealt with the situation at Targos. Yeah. Well, um... Yeah, I mean, what, what do you guys think? Uh, Chewinga, or do you want to go uh, see what's up with this alleged murderer guy? Okay. Oh, also... <clears throat> oh. Sorry. Well, while we're, while we're on this topic... Um, Where um, is... You said Chewinga? Chewinga. Where's Chewinga? It's a creature. Ah. Where, yeah, can we, where do you think we can find someone that can read Infernal? In hell. Well, let's go there then. <laughs> Hello, so you were gonna say something before you were rudely interrupted. Um, there's a rumors table that we can roll on as well, which we should yeah. probably do. Um, yes, and that's fine. But uh, on the subject of infernal, if we care about that, I mean, we did have those devil worshipping people at, uh, where was it, Caradineval? Oh, that's true. We could <sighs> go to Caradineval and find somebody who knows how to read Infernal. Mm -hmm. The lady in the basement probably knows somebody. That sounds like a really good horror movie. The lady in the basement. Wow. They are special looking. Teeny tiny little things. Which uh, which one is the Chewinga bomb? Both. Both of those are Chewingas. Oh. Are they different type of Chewingas? Unknown. That's one of the reasons why they would like to capture one is because they've never been carefully studied. <clears throat> right. Right. Remind me of those little tree things in Princess Mononoke. Mm-hmm. Well, and she gave us a lantern, right, to help track these things? Yes. Um, uh, well, point me in the direction of the guy who can read this. That's where I want to go. Yeah, so if you, the, there were quite a few infernal speakers up at Carindinival. Uh, most of them, I think, are in prison now, but they're well, probably still available. And the woman in the basement is waiting, uh, which she's researching, but she's also waiting for you to um, prove yourselves worthy of her next endeavor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, prove ourselves worthy. We haven't just find we, a cauldron. Haven't we done that already? We should have definitely taken a picture of the of the cauldron so we could show it to her. Well, and we dealt with those uh, Durga after speaking with her. Killed a bunch of them. <clears throat> All right. So there are two. Juicy rumors. Ooh. Oh, I, I <laughs> Still can't read that. I cannot read that rumor. That's hilarious. Sorry. I, I asked the guy who spoke that rumor. Can you read this book? No. A whale with a boat on his back. Angajuk's Bell. Where is Angajuk's Bell? Is that, that's not a town. Yeah, I don't know why that part's in the table. Ignore that part. Alright, so which one's the top one and which one's the bottom one? Top and bottom of what? what what's the quote from the book? Oh, no, that's not the quote from the book. It's the quote oh. from the little one. There I, are... figured it, 
if the guy knew how to speak Infernal. No, no, that was my mistake. I did not change uh, my language from Infernal to off. I don't know if there are any Infernal speakers in East Haven at all. I'm going to reverse engineer all the Infernal text by comparing it against the comet and use that to translate the book. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm, otherwise I'm just going to walk around with the book open and just ask everybody I see. Can you read this? So, uh, okay. here's so, our... Um, so, you ask the first person you see. Um, he's a young man with thick glasses. He scrunches his nose up at it and says, I believe that's infernal. Go see Scytheon at the Wet Trout. Oh, Scytheon. At the Wet Trout. To the Wet Trout. East end of town. Thank you. We go there. And find a translator. Can't believe that worked. Haven to do. I see the white trout on there. Indeedy. That takes us like what three steps? Located near the docks, this is the largest and loudest tavern in East Haven. It has a ribald atmosphere and is known for rumor mongering. Great chimney squarely in the building's center has hearths on either side to warm the tavern's two common rooms. Behind the counter is a white dragonborn. Oh, is it your friend? Oh. Does anyone recognize the white dragon porn? I don't think so. I don't know any dragon. I don't know any white dragon born. Well, we can ask about the two rumors while we're here. <clears throat> Why don't y'all go do that? I'll go find somebody who speaks this. There is a blue tinged tiefling telling some sort of loud story to a couple of fishermen along the west wall. What was the guy's name I'm supposed to be looking for? Scytheon. Scytheon. He's the... He's, he's a patron there, or he's the owner? He's apparently a patron. The dragonborn okay. appears to be the owner. Ah, oh, I got it. Sorry. So I want to go up to the, the owner and ask, do you know, and insert that guy's name again. Stytheon. There you go. <laughs> Why keep you around with? She's polishing a wooden mug, gestures to the man along the wall. She says, Welcome to my establishment. Can I get you something? I couldn't above for them like wanting me? Something warm. It's cold out there. Hot mug of mead. Sounds delicious. Uh, I'm fine. I have some berries and some water. Don't mind it. We are we are travelers from far away, and we are looking to return the sun to these lands. No, we're not. She pulls the mug back that she was just about to hand Imar. Mm. Are you the ones who returned the cauldron? Uh, yeah, we we did return a cauldron. A big one, like, uh, that you could cook, like, a, a large deer in. So you've heard of our exploits. Can't say I approve, he says. How so? Well, i rather enjoy a nice fire. Hmm. You win some, you lose some. You know... So you approve of you approve of uh, killing your town's citizens? 
to appease this uh, oral. Oral demands it. I've heard she's uh, she's okay with a uh, food sacrifice or warmth. For the weaker towns, East Haven is strong enough to give more. Hmm. Who would you uh, who would you uh, offer up next? That's what the lottery is for. Let Oral decide. So, in your opinion, we should steal the cauldron back, even though we've been handsomely paid for it. She shrugs. Um, I heard something about some goblins owning a fortress. If we wanted to uh, take their fortress, do you know where it's located? I do. It's far from here. Hmm. Like how far? Follow the red run to the end of the spine. Not all the way to the sea, but almost. Red run almost to the sea, you say? We'll just come across this goblin fortress and we can take it from them? They'll probably attempt to waylay you and you can track them back. Hmm. That's a good thought. It's dangerous. Did you seem to be able to handle it? Especially what if you is... took that cauldron with you. You'd have plenty mm. of food. Listen, how, uh, how does the lottery work? I don't know. <clears throat> the speakers run the lottery. Is, does uh, everybody everybody get a, get a chance? Yes. Anything less would anger Oral. What is the uh, going rate on a goblin fortress these days? Like, how much do you think we could sell it for once we, once we own it? I couldn't say. I don't think real estate's doing very well these days. Yeah, it's a recession because of the cold. Siphon hasn't been home in nigh a week. He just lives across town. Where's he been? She points at him over there. No, oh, but I mean, I, sure, he's over there, but where has he been if he hasn't been home? I spoke plain. He hasn't left. Oh. I misunderstood. I apologize. So on this uh, lottery, um, how, long, uh, how long has that been a thing? Started shortly after the endless winter, and it's a weekly, monthly uh, occurrence, daily. You're a curious one. Well, I heard a rumor about. Um, I heard a rumor about people trying to cheat their way out of the lottery, and uh, it was a. Uh, some some fellow out on the road uh, that, that we heard of that's that's uh, maybe taking issue with that. Well, I've never heard of any such thing. Never heard of anybody cheating the lottery. People talk. Plenty of falsehoods get told in this bar. So you you give it no. Uh, Lend, lend no uh, credence to that, uh, that particular room. I have seen Arl take wing on her mighty rock myself. She would not abide such treachery. Hmm. Mighty rock? A giant bird, dear. Can you tell us what it looks like? It's a great white bird with shimmery wings and ice for feathers. I think I've seen them in concert. Wingspan 80, 90 feet across. Mm. <clears throat> I'm sure I've seen them perform in concert with the, with the, with the bird and the, and, the, and the wings in the background and the rock. It was fantastic. 
I wouldn't know what you mean. I <laughs> shouted out. I said, "Play Freebird," and they and they did. <laughs> All I can say for certain is that when you see that bird take flight, you'll believe as I do. Oh, I believe. None would deny it. Hmm. And uh, tell us a little more about this Scython, friend of yours? Scytheon? He's not a friend, he's a moocher, and he needs to pay his bill or I'm going to throw him to the cold. I've been hoping I his name comes up in the next drawing, but I'm not no. sure yet. Do you need uh, anyone to uh, to rough him up or uh, otherwise you know, retrieve your... What's, what's he owe? How much is his bill? He owes 37 gold and counting. That's uh, that's quite a sum. Okay. He I eats and day. drinks non-stop. The uh, only piece any of us get is if he happens to lure a young lady up to his room. Oh. Right now? Is there somebody up there right now? No, not not to my knowledge. He doesn't have a room. He's been sleeping in the common room because I cut him off. Oh. What kind of? He's surprised at the table over there. Pay his bill. <laughs> Where yeah. Wait, why are we paying his bill? Uh, um, if you can't see me doing the quotations, IRL, oh. I am going to uh, uh, pay his bill. Mm -hmm. He's the guy you need to to translate your stuff. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I'm going to offer to pay his bill. Sure. If he translates for me. Oh, I figured we could pay his bill and then escort, or get him to translate and then escort him home. Oh, okay. Fuck yes. Okay. So, um, speaking to two fishermen is what appears to be almost a pirate tiefling. He's got bright red skin, but it's tinged with blue all around the edges, orange like tips of his fingers, and so forth. It's almost comically that, but it's not that. Mm -hmm. He's finishing up a story about running out of his ferry as though his tail end was on fire. And the fishermen at the table laugh. I just clap. <clears throat> Outstanding story. Yes, what a what a wonderful story. I thank you, lad. I don't suppose you're up for the next round. Oh, uh, what do you mean? mean? Oh, me and my friends here. Just run dry. Well, if you don't mind if we join you, then... Uh... Yes, sure. come sit. Yes, excellent. A round, a round for our uh, new friends here. And I'm going to fill all their all their cups up with water out of my water skin. <laughs> oh, is this I, I a religious thing? Uh, he's a he's a simpleton. We uh, uh, what was the lady's name? The dragon. I don't think that, you asked her her name. Oh, I thought we had heard it. Well, I just drove her towards her and, uh, and stay around for our new friends over here. She sighs, starts pouring cheap wine into copper cups. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're amongst friends here. Uh, let's have some good stuff. She brings over the copper cups and sets them down. When he pays his bill, he can start specifying when he drinks. What? Uh, what's this going to cost us? He counts the cups. Two and a half. Two and a half what? Gold? Silver. Silver. Uh. Uh. Well, I offer her a. Uh, I offer her a gold piece, and uh, if she'll bring us uh, another round when this uh, when this one's done. 
she um, smiles very slightly. Seems to have lightened her mood a little bit, and she runs to go get the next round. All right. Tell us, uh, tell us another tale here. We missed the uh, beginning of your first one. Ah, well, not too long ago, I was walking down along the South Mountain, and I saw a streak in the sky plummeting from the heavens, a huge explosion in the snow. And I've heard folk tell of mental messages in a language they don't speak. I think the comet might have come from the stars, and that might have something to do with the languages. I bet you could find it easily enough, even in this weather. Comet from the sky. That's a tall tale, my friend. Well, truth be told, I didn't see it myself. But I heard it from a reliable source. <laughs> and who is this reliable source? I can't remember. He seemed truthful at the time, though. We were both quite drunk. <laughs> what about you? Oh, Tell me your tale. Don't find many of our kind up here, brother. No, no. I, uh, I shouldn't think so. It's a little cold, or, uh, you know, if you know what I mean. I like it a little warmer. You're lucky nobody's drug you off to Cara Denival. They tried with me. Oh, really? For what? There's a devil worshiping cult up there. Oh, uh, yeah, no. We got rid of the cult. Good riddance. So you're and, exterminators, then? Well, well no. Our, I had our, nothing to do with that. Uh, our real goal is to bring back the sun. Bring back the sun? Yep. That's that's what we're here for. To bring back the sun. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's very fixated on the sun. Well, yeah, yeah. Have then you seen I, uh, you know where it is. I have not, but if you're actually going to bring it back, I'd better get a move on. Why? Well, did you hear about the pirate ship? No. no. In the frozen sea, northwest out of Bremen, less than a quarter mile from the shore, it's stuck. Sure as anything. Ain't going nowhere as long as the winter lasts, and I bet its hold is full of treasure. Oh, oh man! I like the sound of that. If we uh, if we if we took that pirate ship, what do you think the going rate for pirate ships is these days? <sighs> Not a darn penny. Although, if you oh, find yeah. any buyers, I've got a ferry for sale. So, uh, if we find any what? Anybody willing to buy businesses or boats? I've got you, both. What about a goblin fortress? If we happen to inherit one, what do you think, uh, what do you think the going rate for that would be? I couldn't tell you, son. I wouldn't know. All right, uh, next question. Do you speak Infernal? What kind of tiefling would I be if I didn't? Uh, well, our resident tiefling doesn't seem to speak Infernal. Oh, okay. oh, I speak it. I'm just not much of a reader. Oh, he doesn't read it. Yeah. Reminds me of them Goliaths that we see from time to time. Uh... Can you translate the writings in this book? Yes, please. Sure, pass it over. I slide it over to him. Oh, I've heard of this book. What book is it? Is it a book of the sun? 
Nothing to do with the sun, no, not at all. Oh, um, no. Hold on a moment. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. You should definitely read through this. According to this book, several prominent patriarchs in Baldur's Gate and nobles in Waterdeep are devil worshippers. You don't say. Well, you shouldn't say if you're too close to either Waterdeep or Baldur's Gate. This book gets burned. Oh. I believe wow. whoever this ES author is has struck a nerve. So what you're saying is after we rescue the sun, we should go to Baldur's Deep and Watergate and get rid of the devils? Thank you. Perhaps. Perhaps. Anyways. Um... Yes. So... These notes, uh, somebody disagrees with some of the author's assertions. Um, nope, this one's confirmed. It, it appears to be uh, this or that um, notes. Someone is using this as a research book. Okay, and what, what does it say? Well, per family, each of these have different notes. There's some kind of scoring system here from 1 to 100. Ooh, this page says abduction. That's scary. They probably abducted the the devil worshippers. Oh, maybe they abducted the sun. Nothing about the sun. Nothing yet. Are you sure? Oh my goodness, the black oh, no. staff. <gasps> the black really? staff. No. Oh. What about us, the black staff? Tell us about the black staff. Oh, this this article here says that the black staff has uh, been uh, carousing with the castle lanterns, known worshippers of the devil. And here in Inferno, across the bottom in big letters, it says confirmed. Oh! Ooh. The castle lanterns, you say, and the black staff. Says the book. Hmm. So this is really just a book of juicy rumors. Probably worth a buck or two, I bet. Hmm. You know anyone who'd want to buy it? It's not for sale, thank you very much. Oh, well, I, my mistake. It uh, is not for sale. He flips to the front cover. Ah. It's too bad it's not signed. Then it would really oh. be worth a penny. Mm. More or less than a pirate ship. More. Probably more. Why are um, why are soft cover books worth more than pirate ships? I told you this one got banned and in a hurry. The author is wanted. I understand. There's a bounty. Tell us more about this pirate ship. Where did you say uh, that was? Did you say we could find that? I'm going to need another drink if you're going to continue to change subjects this fast. I, I give him my drink. Here you go. He drinks from it heartily. Mm. Mm. It's yeah. a spot, doesn't it? It does. So I believe she's called the Dark Duchess. I also believe her crew's all dead. The only person I knew that knew anything firsthand about it died in the cold one night after some glorious drinking right here in this establishment. Now don't look at me like that. I didn't have anything to do with it. I was passed out. Oh, How do you know? Sure. How do I know I didn't have anything to do with it? That's what I asked. Well, I guess I can't be sure, but Never killed anybody in my sleep before that I know of. That's a disturbing thought. I mean, what type of killing do you usually do? Not a drop, if I can help it. I used to haul people back and forth across the lake. That was my claim to fame. Made a penny, too.
So, Can you, uh, give us any idea of how to find this, uh, this dark duchess? My best information is northwest out of Bremen. Hard to say. Northwest out of Bremen. There's a few folk up there, but don't venture too far. Why is that? Grimskull. Wouldn't want to get anywhere near that. Grimskull? Is that a, not a person? That's an island. An island. Protected by impenetrable cold. Oral impenetrable. flies from there every single night. Have you seen her? I've not. Proprietor hmm. has. He waves. She snorts from across the room. How would you... Uh... Have you ever been out that way? Not for many years. Mm -hmm. well. Have you heard of, uh, shit, what's Ever hear of, uh, Ang Angajuk's Bell? I have heard that story. The whale that takes people across the frozen sea. Oh, yeah, the whale. The, the, uh, the, the big one, yeah. That seemed like a drunken one to me. Would oh. be up about the same place, I suppose. Really? Well, sure. Hmm. Would you be uh, interested in maybe uh, taking a trip up there? Oh, no. Maybe a year ago, before all this cold and all this sitting. Are you sure we could use a, a guide? Someone familiar with the uh, lay of the land and so forth? We could use a steady hand. I'm afraid I'm no good to you that way. Hmm. Make it worth your while. How so? Well, I uh, I hear through the grapevine, and I uh, kind of gesture over subtly over towards the uh, the uh, proprietor uh, that, that you've got a accumulated a bit of a tab. A bit. Mm. Last I heard, it was just a, a little bit. We could, uh, we could potentially take care of that. Oh, couldn't. I really couldn't. I wouldn't want to spend a single night out in the cold. Hmm. Well, look at it this way. After you help bring the sun back, A, you'll be a hero, and B, it will never be cold again. Well, if you're trying to bring the sun back, you should go see Copper in Bryn Shander. Oh, who's Copper? He's an eccentric sort of fellow. He that's knows not something about the sun? He does. Hmm. What does he know about the sun? He was working with the follower of Lathander to fix the problem. How'd that work out? I don't know. Have Copper came back. Lathander didn't. Or, Lathander, sorry. Wait, a whole god didn't come back? No, no, sorry. <laughs> Macradius, I believe was his name. Oh, old Macradius, sure. Sure. Anyway, oh, two went Arnold north, Cr one came back. I don't know exactly what happened, but Copper does. Hmm. Well, maybe that's, they uh, intriguing. Maybe they stole that pirate ship you were talking about. Sure, maybe they stole the pirate ship. I suppose. You know where we can find this copper? I mean Bryn Shander, but does he uh 
frequent any uh any local haunts I haven't been to Brinny in quite some time, but I bet if you go to the worship house, they could tell you where to find him. Sure, sure, that makes sense. Well, listen, it's been uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Appreciate all the uh, insight into the uh, the goings on here, ten towns. All I do all day is talk to people. Mm. Thank well, you. yeah, thanks for your time. Enjoy the, uh, enjoy the remaining, uh, enjoy the remaining drinks. Stay warm out there. Oh, we always do. Uh, well, we're kind of out of earshot. Do we need any supplies or anything before we head out on this long trek? I don't. No, I think we're, I think we're covered here. I have all I can eat unlimited food. Yeah, berry. Uh, he's the berry master. Yeah. Do you have any berries or something? Yep, I hand you a berry. I, okay. What's he gonna eat? I point to my. I hand him a berry. Okay. <laughs> I do suspiciously and then takes it, smells it, waits for me to eat mine, and then eats it. <laughs> awesome. You okay, are to, You are not hungry again for 24 hours. That's the way I like it. Where uh, where are we thinking here? We got options. I I don't think we need to go to Care Dinaval since you translated your book here. No, um Bring I Shander mean, with Copper I and his friend. I don't Yeah. I, I think Bryn Shander's the way to go because if we decide to go to the pirate ship, like Bryn Shander's still a good stopping point on the way. If we decide to go to the Goblin Fortress, Bryn Shander's a good stopping point along the way. If we tried to capture and interrogate a Chwinga, Bryn Shander's a good stopping point along the way. So the alternative is good meat and Dugan's Hole. Those are the closest alternatives. And then we could go see the caravan. Yeah. I think I missed the episode where the caravan was introduced. And I don't really know what this caravan is. Well, it's it's literally just that. They travel uh, between the towns. There's uh, a mix of folk to operate it, but it's, I think, what did we say? It was three large dog sleds? Something like that, yeah. And there's one guy who travels with them who's a freaky guy who doesn't seem bothered by the cold, doesn't wear a coat, and is alleged to murder people who cheat the lottery. So he's a murderer. Allegedly. Which, in many ways, sounds like somebody else's problem. Right. Yeah, I mean, it kind of really does. I'd be interested in going to uh, Bryn Chander to talk to this copper. The only benefit to stopping in Goodmead, and uh, Arid doesn't drink, so to him this isn't a benefit, but I'm assuming Goodmead has really good mead. It might. Well, I guess this is how the world was before Yelp was invented. <laughs> yeah. Sat around and spread stuff by word of mouth. Um, I mean, I, I'm fine with going to Bryn Shander. I think that is as good a place as any to go next. Whether we want to go investigate the pirate ship, and see if we can find the Frost Maiden on her misty isle. Then why are we still discussing it? It's going on and on and on and on. Nobody disagree with you. All right, so we're going west. 
Yeah, and I have to go to the restroom real quick, so I'll be right back. No worries. Can you hear me okay? Yes. I had a microphone disaster situation. So, uh, what did I miss while I was... Uh... You've agreed to head west. Ah, uh, got it. All right. I don't want to. I think everybody wants to. No, yeah, that's fine. fine. I mean, he's going to talk about it for another hour and a half. So, um, I just told him, onward. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, bring Chander. Sounds reasonable. I think we're uh, waiting a brief moment. I mean, I guess we could decide. So when we come to the fork in the road. Yes. Which direction? Continue west, head south? Uh, no, I think west, right? Towards Bryn Chandler. I think that's what we all agreed. Is that the right direction? It is to go to Bryn Chandler. All right, so East Haven to Bryn Shander takes pretty much all day. Seven and a half hours on foot. Wow. Well, hungry, so. Too far. Yeah, right down here. Come here. Anyway, Bryn Shander. Good old Bryn Shatter. All right. So you're back in Bryn Shander. You, everyone comes through here on their mm. way to anywhere in the Ten Towns, pretty much. Unless you break from the road. Did we make it? Yep. A walled town perched atop a cold, lonely, wind-lashed hill. Sure. Through the uh, east gate. The gate is closed because it's getting dark. The guards call out and ask who seeks entry. Heroes of East Haven. And Cared Interval. The dispersers of demon cults and the rescuers of giant cauldrons. Sure. We have a message for the uh, speaker from the speaker of East Haven. If you are who you say you are, Speaker Shane wants to see you. Oh, we are indeed. The gate opens and one of the guards is there. Come on, he says. If we hurry, we can make it before she goes to bed. Excellent. I shoot him finger guns. Let's go. Okay. He double steps toward the town hall. In the He's of following. Yep. So how long have you worked for the guard? Just about six months. You like it? Good benefits? I do. So far, it's not all good, but every job has its ups and downs. What? What's not good about it? Well, the sacrifices for one. Oh. Do you, you have... Get... Do you have to do the sacrifices? It's not my turn now, but it was last time. 
when you do them, do you get like double pay or anything? We draw straws, and whoever gets the short straw has to be the one to tie him down. But then you don't have to draw next time. But there's no, like, extra pay or anything for it? Not that I've ever heard of. Did somebody you tell you there was extra pay? Uh, no. no, it just seems yeah. like like what y'all should have negotiated. That's uh, the knowledge of a, of a job well done, right? Uh, doing a good deed is its own reward. Don't feel like a good deed, sir. Well, it's, it's for the good of the town, is it not? That's what they say. But it's terrible business. Well, soon you won't have to anymore because we're bringing back the sun. It's really just him uh, bringing back the sun. It's more of a solo mission. They're just along for the ride. Well, wait here. I need to run in and, and make sure things are ready. Oh, excellent, yes. We'll, we'll wait out here in the cold. Won't be long, I promise. All right, we've got the warm weather gear. Or warm... Warm clothing. Warm clothing. <laughs> cold weather gear. <clears throat> so a few minutes later uh, a sheriff comes up behind you Let's see I've got his Ahoy sheriff Oh oh searching for images and items that always works well Mhm <laughs> I hear you're the ones who saved East Haven. Well, saved is a strong word, but we we, we helped. We also uh, drove the demon cult out of uh, Care Dinnival. Regular hero folk, that's good. And uh, we found a cauldron, and uh, we're going to bring back the sun. One thing at a time, young man. One thing at a time. And uh, we're also going to uh, get control of a goblin fortress and sell it. It's valuable real estate. Wonderful. It sounds like you've got everything you need. I have a favor to ask you. I know you oh. don't know me yet, but I repay my debts. How can we help? I don't want you to tell the speaker about what you did in East Haven. You don't want us to tell the speaker? Not yet. Why is that? It's a grisly practice. It weighs heavily on her mind, but it saves lives. We need to and be sure that it won't bring her wrath down on us before we make a single change. Do you understand what I mean? And you don't think that uh, in all you can eat all the time, free buffet for the tin towns would save lives? I think East Haven's tired of doing their duty. We all are. But we don't get to just quit. Not until you folk bring back the sun, as you say. If you tell her now, you'll break her heart. Give her time. When the Why? meeting comes, she'll have to discuss it. But it won't happen for another week and a half, maybe two. Why two. would it break her heart to tell her now? She's going to want Rin Shander to be the ones that get to stop. How's she going to accomplish that? She's not. She's a good woman. <laughs> She's a good leader, and she's doing what's right. But you will flay her soul with this news if you tell her before she can take any action at all. Give her some peace, please. Please. 
So you want us to lie to your boss. The door opens. She's ready for you. All right. We'll be right there. Well, Sheriff, it was a pleasure meeting you, and uh, thank you for welcoming us to Bryn Shander. He touches his hand along his nose. Uh, sort of half-hearted salute. Turns, I need to check the gate. And walks off. Have a good evening, We'll, we'll see the speaker now. All right, so you're led through the town hall into the speaker's office. There are several mounted hunting trophies along these walls, as well as a fine tapestry depicting a victory of the Battlehammer Dwarves. She uh, is adjusting her cloak. Forgive me for keeping you waiting. I had already changed. Oh, not at all. Uh, we get we got to meet the sheriff since we waited for a few minutes. The good man, the best in all the ten towns. He seems like it. Solid. He really cares, and I think that's what makes the difference. What is what does he care about most? Well, the law, probably. Ah, fair enough. So I understand your heroes. Um, I yeah, that's mean, a strong word. We're uh, we're we're looking to bring back the sun and uh, get into the real estate business. <clears throat> we have a couple uh properties we're looking at acquiring. We're uh, travelers. We we uh, we like to help where we can in our small way. Well. Some of that is good news to me. I understand Ker Dineval was overrun by a cult. Yep, it, it was. The absolute uh, worst people. Devil worshippers. Every single person in the city was part of the cult. I wouldn't say every single person in the city was part of the cult, but they were. There were a number of them. Was the Arcane Brotherhood behind it by any chance? Honestly, it's been so long that I don't really... <laughs> I don't think so. But I won't swear to it. Have you had any encounters with them? I heard there was a dust-up in East Haven not too long ago. With the Arcane Brotherhood? Yes, I understand they moved him right to the front of the line in the sacrifices. We had heard about that. It, uh, they did sacrifice uh, one of the brothers, before, right before we arrived, in fact. I keep telling the speakers not to take these kinds of risks. We don't know what might bring her down on our heads. But... I can't say I'm sorry. And how would they go about moving him to the front of the list? I was under the impression it was a random selection by lottery. An honest speaker would draw the name from the bowl or the hat or the cup. Hmm. But no one really knows what happens in an office like mine. She looks around. No one understands the Decisions that we make on a daily basis. I could see a speaker lying about what name was pulled. What's your... Uh... Why would they do that? Sometimes you kill two birds with one stone. Especially mm. when you have so few stones. Uh, can I roll an insight check to see if she's uh, kind of admitting to doing that? Yeah. 
Oh, that's terrible. It seems to you like maybe she is. What's your uh, opinion of Speaker Whalen in East Haven? He's shifty. Always trying to run some kind of angle. Always trying to be the lead speaker at the council meeting. Can't say I'm a fan. Thankfully, East Haven's quite far from here. Hmm. Have you met him? Speaker Whalen? She nods. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We met him. Well, we did some uh, errands for him. What did you think of him? In Shifty. Took the words out of my mouth. Say, did you confirm the presence of the Arcane Brotherhood in East Haven? Uh, no. Uh, there was one member, as we said, he was uh, apparently burned. Burned alive? Uh, didn't didn't hear or see anything about any other members of the Brotherhood there. Well, you're travelers. Is that correct? Yeah. We are. Yes. That's the part that I thought was a good match. I'm... Well, let me just uh, come out with it. I'm, I'm reasonably squad. convinced that the Arcane Brotherhood is trying to take over the towns of, well, the ten towns, from the inside. We overthrew just such a plot last year. From the Arcane Brotherhood? Yes. They're looking for something. What are they looking for? Something terrible. It's the Brotherhood. It has to do with the destruction of a nation or enslavement of the people or some vile waste of time. Do you think, uh... So you, so you think the Arcane Brotherhood, what what should be done with them, in your opinion? Every single one of them should be destroyed. Does that not seem a bit harsh to you? They're evil. You can't join without being willing to commit the most destructive, evil, vile acts in the name of progress. That's fortuitous, then, that... Uh... One of them uh, had their name come up in the lottery. It's the only reason why I won't be bringing it up at the next meeting. If, uh... I mean, if they're so evil, why do people put up with having them around? They're wealthy, connected. But why, why haven't the people banded together and, uh... drove them out? People up here, at least, have more pragmatic concerns most of the time. They leave the big picture stuff to people. And then I turn to people like you, who can hopefully help me reach beyond the walls of this city. Hmm. That's, uh, that's an intriguing idea. How can we, how can we help? Well, I had hoped to find someone who was willing to go north, ask a few questions of an old friend. No, I can't call him a friend, an acquaintance of mine. I want to know if there's any truth to this plot. And I want to know who he thinks we should be trying to find. Have you been to Revel's End? Uh, where's Revel's End? About as far north as you can go. I'd say that we have, but we've, uh, we're considering uh, an expedition north, northwest of here. Well, if you travel north along the coast of the sea, you'll find it nestled behind a cliff. It's a maximum security prison. 
used to house the most powerful magical criminals of the realm. Oh. Would we happen to know who any of them are? I'm going to ask you to go visit one if you're open to a mission. Um, of course, always. Where are you sending us? As I said, follow the sea north. You'll find it. Or if you'd prefer, you could head south to Luskin and make passage on an icebreaker. They do still get supplied by the sea. The overland uh, option seems simpler. How, how far is it? It will take you several days, I would imagine. And uh, who are we looking for, and what should we ask them? I'll prepare a document. It will have all the details that the guards need to let you in. I want you to speak to Valish Gant. Don't worry, I'll write all this down for you as well. That's fantastic. I'm not much of a writer myself. Not good with words or writing. He was spared from a death sentence and sent there so as to not incur the wrath of the Brotherhood. What did well, he do? He tried to take over Bryn Shander. Yeah, he failed, I see. Yes. He had set up a protection racket. They were not loyal. They were only loyal to his coin. Party of adventurers, very much like yourselves, put a stop to it. Well, that's, that's good to know. What do you mean they were like ourselves? Traveling from town to town, solving problems. Picking up coin along the way, as I assume you've done. Wait, a little bit. You're supposed to get paid for this? You should. You should be charging handsomely. Your skills uh, are rare. So mm. you're going to pay all of our back pay then, correct? I am not, but I will reward you for this trip. What, uh, what are we talking about here? It sounds dangerous. I mean, uh, several days travel overland in this harsh... Right, we Winter. got off with that, you know, <clears throat> lactic change of ours. Is it a dangerous magic user in a prison? Well, you'll be under no risk of that, I'm sure, and I can certainly make sure you're well supplied. But I wouldn't ask you to go if I wasn't prepared to pay the customary reward. Oh, the customary reward. Well... That sounds eminently reasonable. And and uh, what is what is the custom in uh, Ten Towns? I'm, I'm new to the area. Come from Waterdeep. As I said, I will outfit you at no cost. Anything the town has that might aid you on your quest is yours. Oh. If you successfully return with information pertaining to this plot, I'll give you a reward of 250 gold. Oh. 250 gold. Well. Eat we your total. We can, we can eat more than berries. But why would you? They're free. <sighs> I will provide your party with 250 gold, which you may divide as you see fit. Mm. Well, that seems uh, that seems more than fair for a simple trip to deliver a message and ask a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. And it's really uh, as simple as that. You don't anticipate any uh, trouble, no uh, fighting, no uh, danger. If you can find a way to make him suffer after he gives you the information, I would be more than happy to hear that you've done. 
But, uh... In fact, you might let slip to the guards that the Arcane Brotherhood are plotting a jailbreak. Well, Mm. but didn't the legal system already, you know, solve this issue? Well, sure, he's incarcerated, but uh, I I think you're saying that it would be... uh... It wouldn't be a problem if he were to, say, uh, slip in the shower and hit his head. And After you get not, the information... Not, not wake up. I'm being honest. If Bryn Shander had been able to carry out our justice, he would have been killed. It was the council's decision to... But not, but not yours. Did Why not would agree. you have around? What? Sorry? Who wanted to keep them around? The council. There's a great fear of angering the Arcane Brotherhood. Mm. Mm. As I said, there are rumors yeah. that they're trying to establish a foothold here. But some put forward that Gant's mission was a solo mission and that he did not signal A greater fear of times ahead. I don't know what's true, and he's been up there for some time. His information may not be any good, but I've... But either way, you'd like him eliminated. Well, I don't need him to die. I wouldn't mind if it happens, but I... I I would, though, really, really appreciate it if you told them that they were going... That the Arcane Brotherhood was coming to break him out, because then they'll put him in solitary for a while, and that would I serve see. him right. All yeah. right. I have no idea whether that is true. And I mm. hate to lie, but in this case, I would like you to send that message to Gant for me. Don't, though, tell him I sent you. No, of course. Of course. I should have made that clear from the beginning. So we'll speak to Gant. Find out what he knows, and if he should suffer an accident after we after we leave, uh, no nobody's going to shed a tear over that. I believe we have an understanding. Mm-hmm. If you return to me in the morning, I'll give you the commission, which will give you rights to anything you need in Brinchander as well as the letter of introduction to the prison's warden, as well as a note to remind you what it is you are to ask. Oh, excellent. A note would be very helpful. I mean, to those, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't write that note in Infernal. <laughs> don't if, even if speak you, Infernal. If you could yes, stick to the common know. tongue, it would be uh, most helpful. Then we have an accord. Indeed. Indeed we do. I... Oh, a question. A question before we... Uh, uh, have you seen any Chilingas? Any what? I'll take that as a no. If you run across any, send them our way. But what is a Chilinga? Uh, it's a... Uh... So it's a it's a it's a form of exotic pet. Yeah, is, they're kind they're is, kinda like people or displacer beasts. Is this to do with that crazy elf woman running around with a lantern? Crazy sounds judgmental, doesn't it? And I don't think she has a lantern anymore. Well, she spent a few nights in the stockade, I'll tell you that. Oh really? What uh what for? Breaking an entry. Where did you break into? Several abandoned homes in mm-hmm. town. You know what for? I don't believe she found a thing. They've Maybe she was trying to stay warm. Well. There are plenty of places to do that. In fact, I bet you're looking for a place to stay yourselves. Possibly. As I recall, we have uh, 
we have an open tab at the uh, the local tavern. Mm -hmm. The North Look. I honestly don't remember. But be careful. Oh. Scram sex charges interest. He does oh, does he? Tend to tell. Oh, that's uh, that's good information. What 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 sort of rates are we are we talking here? Something reasonable, I hope. Nothing too uh, exorbitant. I understand it's incredibly exorbitant. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Is there a way? Uh, we've been away traveling, uh, doing good deeds, and so forth, uh, for, for several days now. Um, I, I don't suppose there's a way you could uh, smooth over that situation with uh, Scram Sex. Well, it seems that you're in luck because you're about to receive a letter that you can poke in his face that says you're uh, entitled to whatever you want. Oh, excellent. 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 Thank you. Uh, that's, uh, I appreciate that. That's helpful. Yep. The North Look might be a good place to stay. If you're interested in a more honest place to stay warm, the House of the Morning Lord is never closed. And... Uh... What's what's the house of the morning lord? It's a multi multi worship site. And they have uh, Amanator, Uthander, all the gods of light are worshipped there. Then they have reasonable uh, accommodations. No, but they'll let you sleep in the pews. Oh. Rather not. Anyway, yeah, I think, no I need think, to break uh, into any homes would be. What oh I meant no, no, no! We would, uh, we would never. Crime, crime is not our way. Aside from the occasional uh, murder for hire. Well, when this winter breaks, we're going to need those buildings in good order because people will come back. I don't doubt it. All right, so uh, we've got the, a letter, or we return in the morning uh, for uh, everything we need? I have some writing to do, yes. Please come by in the morning, and my steward will make sure and give you the documents. All right. That sounds excellent. Thank you uh, for your time. Thank you for meeting uh, with us. I know you'd, you'd uh, it's late, so appreciate it. Likewise. And Godspeed. All right. Be back in the morning. All right. Are we headed over to the North Look? I don't see why not. Yeah, I think so. All righty. This is the place with the singing fish on the wall. Oh, cool fish. I've never seen a fish like that before. You got a picture. Also, I've never actually heard of this Graham Sachs character. Old Bitey. Oh, yeah. I remember Old Bitey. Mm -hmm. They do. They've got mutton and they've got stew. Didn't I just give you a berry? I said what I said. <laughs> I like variety. Mm. Just wave to the proprietor and say uh, a round of your finest and uh, uh, come some in, of the come mutton. in, of course. Some of the mutton, please. Will you be wanting your rooms? Sure. I'll have them cleared. Excellent, excellent. How Put it on our tab. How far up on the wall is this fish? Uh, not too very far, about eye level. How right. big is it? Um, yeah. it's almost three feet long. <laughs> um, my uh, companion is gonna crawl, crawl all over there and try to have a conversation with the fish. 
He doesn't understand. He's the fish alive? No. Oh. But he doesn't understand that. Okay. The fish comes to life as the squirrel approaches it and starts singing. What? Well, was unexpected. That, <laughs> that was delightful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he he's absolutely thrilled. Were we supposed to be able to understand those words, or, or was it just a... Yeah, I mean, he, he sings it pretty loudly anytime anybody comes within five feet of it. Well, he's going to do what, like, any basic animal would do. He can just keep doing it over and over again. And okay. he'll want to annoy one of all enough to call him off. I just let him be, because I don't want to anger him. He Trying to sleep with an angry rabbit squirrel is not comfortable. <laughs> well, at some point, Scrimsax comes over and puts a tarp over old Bitey. Leave him be. Shoo, shoo. Says to the rabbit squirrel. Uh, well, he gives him a piece of his mind after that. <laughs> None of it makes any sense. <laughs> okay. Would that I could give the rabbit squirrel inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we're at a stopping point for tonight. All right. All right. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm in, old bitey. Old bitey. Old bitey. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of things we can do. We can go see goblins, go see pirates, go see frost maidens, go to prison. Well, yeah, there's several. Uh, all the... Uh... Everything we learned about today, as far as I can tell, is outside of the Ten Towns proper. Is, is that the word that the fish said that you just put in the chat? Yeah, that's what he's singing. There's a place I like to go, farther up the river flow. Where it is, I do not know. Must be under all that snow. Is there anything to that? You should ask the fish uh, next time Wait, where the fish, place is. Yeah. Oh, I might have to ask questions about old Bitey. Maybe he holds the key. Maybe. Maybe. All right, guys. Well, um, good night to streaming land.